Hi, my name is Methat Al Masri, and today's video is about creating a Docker image for a React app. In order to do this, you need to have Node, and I do have Node on my computer, and let's just check the version. And I've got version 17.6.0. And also, you need to have Docker Desktop. And I do have Docker Desktop running here on my computer. So let us create a sample React application. And this is done with this command, npx create React app. And we'll give it the name React101, and we will use npm. So this will create for us a React application. So when it's finished, you will get this displayed on your screen and in order to run the application you would go cd react 101 and npm start this should open up for you the sample react app in your browser and there it is we don't need this so we'll just close the browser and exit and you can close this by hitting ctrl c now there's another message that is of importance to us and it's this one here. It says to create a production build use npm run build. Let's do that because we want a production build to use in our docker container. So we'll go npm run build. This will create for us a build folder with all the build artifacts in there. So let's have a look. I'm going to say open dot here to open up the folder that I'm in. And this is the folder I'm in. And you'll see that there is a build folder with all your assets in it. Now we're going to copy this particular folder into our container in order to containerize our React application. Now we need to create a file called docker file. This is a text file and it would contain the instructions for creating the docker image. Let's use the built-in text editor on the Mac and it's called nano and the name of the file is docker file. Now the instructions would be we specify the actual base image that will be used and we're going to use nginx and the version is alpine the next instruction is the working directory that will be used inside of the container and it would be work dir and the folder would be var www and web the next is what do we copy into the container? And we're going to copy the entire build folder into that working directory. And we want to copy a configuration file that we will be creating soon. And that configuration file is called nginx.conf. And that will be copied into this specific folder, etc nginx and nginx.conf and we want to expose port 80 and that's it we can exit out of here and save the next thing we need to do is to create that nginx.conf configuration file so we'll do a similar thing we'll go nano nginx.conf and it will open up this file so i'm going to paste the contents of that file because it will take a lot of typing and I'll explain what it is. The important part is this here, this server section. The server is going to listen on port 80. This will be the welcome page index.html. The root of the web app is going to be var www web which is the same address we specified when we created the docker file. And this try files is basically an instruction that says if you don't find these files, then give a 404 error. So let's go control X here and save that again. The next thing is simply to build our Docker image. So I'm going to type in Docker build and I'm going to give it a name and that is using the tag instruction. 
the name of that image I will just simply call it react the version will be 1.0.0 and then don't forget to put the dot here because the dot means build from the current folder so if you hit enter here it's going to read that docker file and the instructions in the docker file and create the image if you want to determine whether or not the image was created you can type in docker images here and you should see the image that we created here it is the final step is to prove to ourselves that the image actually works so let us run that image in order to run the image you do docker run and it's going to run as a daemon and you're going to do some port mapping we're going to say expose port 80 as port 888 and this is the, the way you do that you're saying port 80 internally expose it as 8888 externally and then finally you give it the name of the image which we said is react version 1.0.0 if you hit enter here you will notice that this image is running just to make sure that it's run you can go docker ps and that tells you that this image is running and it's been running for nine seconds the real test is to go into a browser and go localhost colon 8888 and see if it pulls up your react app and it seems to do that quite well to clean up you can do docker rm for remove and you can say minus f for force and give it the first three or four characters of this id in my case i'm going to type in 4f2 and that kills the container the next step is to delete the actual image so if you want to do that you go docker images and we want to get rid of this image here so we do something similar like we did before you go docker and then rmi for remove image you can use the switch minus f to force and again you can give it the first three characters of this image id in my case i'm going to do 478 and it cleans up the image thanks for watching this video and if it was useful please give my video a thumbs up we'll see you in the next video bye